face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what's up, guys? And of course, welcome to our first Smogon Sun and Moon update, which of course can include Saigar being banned, of course, from OU. That is, of course, its complete form or the power construct ability. If you've been, of course, playing Showdown, you do realize that Saigar has beaten. Well, the Pokemon to use basically between, you know, Fermosa, AG Slash, Saigar has been the Pokemon for, of course, being able to, well, deal with anything. It's actually quite broken for all sense of purposes, actually, because most people didn't think this Pokemon would be that threatening to be dealing with. Hell, I'll even go so far and say that I didn't think much about it, mostly because its stats just wasn't that impressive. And on top of that, it felt hard to pull up because part of Construct do force you to actually be below 50% to change form from, of course, either 50% form, which is, you know, the Serpent variant, or from the 10% form, which is basically the So you were mainly forcing yourself to lose HP to become this form, and of course, that would mean that once the form changed and you got your HP back, that it just wasn't as impressive. With that said, and I really can't stress this enough, if you were to solve that with a move such as Rest, then we are playing a different ball game, and so much so that I'm just wow. I mean, look at its defenses. It, they are formidable and definitely are b b above average. Definitely 121 defense, awesome. 95 special defense. That's actually that's quite okay, and definitely for the typing Dragon Ground being a very, very good offensive typing, but also pretty darn decent when it comes to defensive responses. And then you look at, of course, its HP and kind of realize, oh shit, 216. 200. That's. Uh, that's some chancy levels. Chancy, blissy, waylord. You know, it's. It's a lot. But the thing is here, and I'm still gonna quote this again, even with these stats, one really didn't think about this too seriously, but one really has to take into aspect. It has decent defenses. Defense be, of course, a bit above average, with. A lot. And I mean a lot than above average in HP, and you realize this Pokemon is not only bulky, it's close to impossible to kill, and the thing is, this Pokemon gets two things that works in its favor, and seeing that this Pokemon, of course, is so bulky, it's able to set up, in general, quite freely, and of course, rest, sleep talk is what this guy's come with, which means that you probably can't do it, KO it, and it's a nightmare, and having a contract record Dragon Dance, which in my regard makes this Pokemon impossible to kill because you can't outspeed it because it's easily able to set up two Dragon Dances uh, without really risking anything and of course you have a thousand arrows attack which hits you whether you're floating or not it's an earth base of course stab with night base which hurts everything I mean not even floating ability saves you I mean if you're a bronze and you're screwed you're a freaking poof, you're, you're puff you're dead and that's the thing and this Pokemon also learns Coil, which means that you can actually aim your special defense to be at max to get it with, of course, your attack or your HP, depending on how you do it. But, of course, then coiling up and just gets those defenses. And what's even worse is that, you know, I was thinking, I talked to a friend about this because, you know, how do you offensively check a Psyguard without using another Psyguard? Well, Psyguard is mainly weak to ice, right? So, of course, an ice shard would make sense. You know, meanwhile, Mamoswine, Life Orb, these are the primary ice shotters. They barely solve a two-hit kill. They barely do it. Hell, if this is defensive, Mamo won't touch it. It won't be able to hit kill it. It's... I don't know. And, and you know, when <laughs> when you start to play the meta and you face the Saga, you're gonna realize, yeah, I'm screwed. You know, wrap up, that's it. Like, change to the next game, whatever. Saga is broken. The only thing to save you from a, actually a complete Saigard is if the opponent is awful. That's the only way you're gonna win a game and or a matchup like that. It just it won't get solved. And I know people have been talking about oh, but unaware solves this. You can't set up. Yeah, but neither Clefable or Quagsar can kill this thing. Super effective damage won't do over 50% with a Moonblast. And Saigar easily is able to 2 it kill with, or at least 3 it kill with Thousand Arrows. Why? Because it managed to outlive it. Easily. And even if that, if you're an unaware Clefable, that means that you're easily shaked by other Pokemon, such as Celestila, which definitely comes together with Saigar usually. 
It is just a nightmare. And it's so easy to build around Sigar because it's so hard to kill. And it's the bulk that saves it because the bulk means it can set up easy. If you can set up easy, it can sweep easy. And it's just, it's very over centralized. It's very easy to use. It's very easy to maneuver and win with this Pokemon. So it come, doesn't definitely come as any surprise that this Pokemon was banned. But like I said, no one really thought that, you know, with of course the nerfs that was this Pokemon to be able to be utilized properly, that it would be a part of the meta and actually be ferocious at it, to be honest. So with that said, I'm not gonna go over any possible sets outside of ones I mentioned that were relevant in OU. The reason being is because now it's an Uber's Pokemon. I don't know what will work for the Ubers. Hell, I probably say it won't be as good in Ubers. It has a relevance, you still can set up, but it's going against suffer Pokemon, definitely. And it's <laughs> with the contrast that is, it basically is what Giratina is that is basically a super bulky mom that can maintain momentum by just being bulky. And I don't know how effective that is in Ubers. Having that said, I hope you guys get a bit of an understanding why this Pokemon was banned. And uh, let's hope we don't have to see him again. <laughs> God damn it, this Pokemon was just a nightmare to be dealing with. I'm glad it's gone. Uh, what are your thoughts, by the way? Have you been facing this? Have you been able to outmaneuver it? Hell, I think that's a more important question. So, with that said, guys, thank you, of course, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.